Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand dynamic host configuration protocol. In short, it is called as DHCP. In our previous classes, we have explained about ARP and RARP. Those concepts are very important for you to understand before understanding what we are going to discuss in this class. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now what is this dynamic host configuration protocol so so far in the olden days whenever uh, we we will we get an internet connection so what the how the ip addresses are given is it is done by using uh, it is done statically so what does that mean is so the network administrator so whenever we apply for an uh, uh, whenever we apply for an internet connection so the network administrator uh, will come to our computer and he, he will give all these details so these are all the so this is the configuration window that is available that we're going to get in the windows so this is what i am talking about windows so and all these concepts and all uh, this kind of uh, uh, getting the connection is done in the olden days so nowadays we are not going to have this static ip we are going we are not going to give the static ip so we are going to get the details dynamically so dynamic ip we are going to get the dynamic IP so we will try to understand so here uh, we have an option uh, obtain an IP address automatically so here it is not the option that we have to select we have to select this option use the following IP addresses so the net network administrator used to come to your uh, to our computer and he is going to give the things manually so what are the things that he is going to give manually is it is IP address subnet mask default gateway and preferred DNS server and alternate DNS server so these are all the details that are given by the uh, uh, network administrator manually okay so this is how the things are going to happen in the world in days but uh, these days so what are the disadvantages with this kind of uh, uh, manual manually giving the details so whenever so for example if you consider this network and uh, here it has uh, uh, the network administrator has given the IPA IPA for this system and uh, uh, he forgot and uh, there is a chance for us to occur the things man uh, 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 giving the error details if you if you work manually so what happens is for example if you forgot and gave uh, the same IP to this system also so this is what we call it as IP conflict so if there is an IP conflict both these systems will not get the internet connection and identifying this IP conflict is a very toughest job and manually giving the details on each and every system is not an efficient way so for that uh, the alternative that we have these days and we are going to use these days is uh, it is dynamic host configuration protocol DHCP so what this DHCP is on the network on the network upon which uh, 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 so on the network on the uh, local area network we are going to have a server called dhcp server so we are going to have uh, a server called dhcp server on this server on this server we are going to have pool of ip addresses so a pool of ip addresses will be there on this server so whoever is getting connected to this network just by getting connected best just by switching on the network and asking for us to get connected to the network so whoever is asking automatically what what the that system will do is it will send a request a dhcp request will be broadcasted so why broadcasted means every system is going to get that request and uh, only the dhcp server will respond will respond for that request so what that request is i am uh, so and so system i am uh, i am so and so system so my mac address will be sent and uh, uh, so what what we are requesting is i want an ip address and that that message will be identified by the D dhcp server it is broadcasted onto the network and it is identified by the dhcp server and now by taking that uh, uh, 
DHCP request it will send the response and it is unicasted directly to the system which has requested for the IP address so what it is going to send it is going to send all these details IP address other one is subnet mask other one is default gateway other one is DNS server so about this DNS server we will try to understand in the application layer at this point of time these are all the details that are sent by the server in order to check whether these things happen lively or not happened lively or not how we got the internet connection is it a, a dynamic uh, uh, is it a DHCP configuration or not so we have we have on the win in Windows in the command prompt what we have to give is IP config just give IP config space slash here space is there slash all so whenever we type this command on the uh, command prompt of windows and press enter we are going to get these details so these are all the details that i have obtained from my system so here what what are the details that we have physical address so the i have i, uh, I have uh, not mentioned some of the details uh, okay so dhcp enabled yes dhcp is enabled okay so just wait i'll expand this okay so is the dhcp enabled yes the dhcp enabled auto configuration enabled yes the auto configuration is enabled auto configuration enabled ipv address so ipv4 address so the ip4 address that has been transferred uh, by the dhcp server to us next one is subnet mask next one is this is very important point to understand lease obtained lease expires so this is the lease that we have obtained at this time we have obtained the lease so what is this lease means the IP address that we got from the DHCP server it is it is not a permanent IP address we are going to lease that IP address we are going to get get that address for rent in the sense we, we have to use it for a specific period of time after that we are going to expire the lease and we have to renewal that lease so it is automatically done uh, uh, as we are accessing the internet we never ever has done this job and all these jobs are done automatically so the network the IP addresses are for lease and that lease amount uh, that lease time will expire so the IP address lease will expire after a certain amount of time see here lease expires so when the IP address is given at this time the IP address is given and the lease and the IP address is going to uh, is going to expire by this time see here IP address is going to expire by this time at 8 8 30 8 a.m. I got this IP address and it will get expired after 12 for 12 24 p.m. So this is the amount of time that we, we we got allocated and within that time we can use that IP address if you if we don't use so why we are getting that lease time is if we don't use uh, the IP addresses are not permanent and uh, uh, if we don't use the internet for a specific period of time or we shut down our computer what happens is this IP address after the expiration of the lease time this IP address if we didn't ask for renewal if we didn't ask for renewal within this time uh, before expiring so the what happens is our IP addresses uh, IP address will be taken back to the IP loop sorry DHCP server uh, IP loop and it will get uh, stored back on the uh, IP loop so so that that IP address can be used by other system so try to get the point utilization of, of IP addresses is done efficiently so if you have a fixed IP address even though if you if you are not using the computer or not using the internet or not connected to the network you will you you are you are given the IP address permanently okay you are given the IP address permanently so uh, based upon that concept of uh, efficient utilization of IP addresses the the dynamic uh, DHCP uh, we are going to get that advantage of efficient utilization of IP addresses by using DHCP server so dynamically the IP addresses are given and from the pool of IP addresses we are going to access the one of the IP address and it will get expired if you don't renewal that uh, IP address and, and that renewal is done automatically so 
I'm stressing that point again and again because this is very important point to understand. And we also given we are also given the default gateway. So these are all the de default gateway details that are given. And the next one is DHCP server. So the details of D DHCP server and the next one is DNS server. Alternate DNS server and the DNS server. So about this DNS server, we'll try to understand in our uh, next. Uh, uh, in the application layer so whenever we discuss about application layer there uh, we will try to understand about that concept of dhcp sorry dns server okay so this is all about uh, and one more thing so before uh, going uh, before concluding the concept what if what if we have a sub network if this single network this is not a single network and what if we if we have sub networks sub networks not inter networking so within the network we are having uh, uh, the entire network is divided into small small pieces so what if if that is the case so the dhcp server is located and do we have dhcp ser server for each and every sub network no the things will not happen in that way so for that to happen because because the dhcp request so let's try to understand this by real world example for example if these are all the systems that we have these are all the systems that we have on these networks okay and uh, for example if this system b wants to get the dns server uh, gets the ip address and these all these networks are the sub networks and this system wants to access uh, wants to uh, get the uh, ip address now what it will do is the request the dhcp request that is broadcasted will not cross the router will not cross the router so for that to happen uh, do we have the dns server on all each e on each and every sub network so as we have in the reverse address resolution protocol in the reverse address a arp server will be there on uh, each and every server each and every sub network will that happen in that way no the things will not happen in that way so what it is going to use is uh, it is going to use uh, dhcp dhcp relay system dhcp uh, uh, relay system it is going to use a, a system called dhcp relay system so on this dhcp relay system whenever it whenever a system broadcasts the dhcp request this relay system is going to identify that uh, request and on behalf of, of that on behalf of that system it will unicast the content so the broadcasting is not done because the broadcasting messages will not cross the router so the unicasting is is done by the uh, uh, by the DHCP relay system on behalf of this computer so try to get that point unique casting is done by this system on behalf of this system B and after identifying the DHCP request by the DHCP server it is it will send again back to this relay system and this relay system will take the responsibility to send back the IP address to the corresponding system try to get that point we are having a system called relay system and that relay uh, system is relay system means a relay server so that relay server is responsible for uh, all the DHCP requests that happen on that network uh, to unicast that to the DHCP server because this uh, DHCP relay uh, server will have uh, the details of DHCP server so this relay system will have the details of D DHCP server on behalf of this network on behalf of these computers this relay system will send the request to the D D D DHCP server and the corresponding actions are done by that re relay system and the messages will be sent back to the corresponding system okay so this is all about uh, dynamic host configuration hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching